how did I get into racing? Um, uh, my my parents bought me um, a little Pee Wee 50 for Christmas when I was four, I think, four years old. Um, and uh, my grandparents had a farm, um, so we just started started riding dirt bikes, um, and then uh, had a local motocross track, uh, and started um, started racing motocross when I was when I was five, I think. Favorite highlight from my career? Um, I've got I've got quite a few. Uh, back in back in uh, Australia, I won an Australian Super Sport Championship um, before I moved over here to the UK. Um, and then my highlight from here is probably finishing second in last year's British Superbike Championship. Um, that was good, strong year, plenty of podiums and wins. Um, and yeah, that's that's been my biggest achievement since I've been here. Uh, it'd be pretty super bike champion. You know, we set the bar high last year. Um, there's only one, we can only go one better. Um, obviously with that comes a bit of pressure as well because we finished second, so you wanna you wanna win. Um, but uh, but yeah, the, the target this year absolutely is to be British, pretty super bike champion. It's it's been difficult, you know, it's been um, it's been a challenging time for, for everybody. Uh, luckily for us, we got to race last year, which was which was just amazing for all of us. You know, we didn't know what was going to happen at the start, um, and then uh, MSV obviously got the championship running, did a fantastic job, um, and uh, for me that that sort of levelled me back out. You know, once we go motorbike racing, we're all right. So, um, you know, I've got a got a good, um, really good home environment as well. You know, me and my partner get on really well, and got a little dog and. You know, in lockdown, we just did our own thing as normal, and um, you know, we, we, were, we were cool. You know, so um, the bike racing definitely helps, but um, but yeah, everything else was good too. Yeah, amazing, love it, absolutely love it. It's um, uh, when I spoke to Sam from Image Design this year, my helmet last year was definitely the best one that I'd had to date, um, and uh, I said I want to um, sort of a, an an evolution of that rather than a complete redo. We had a few back and forths this year to, to change it because we had two different, we actually had two two designs that I liked. So we sort of put them both together. Um, and yeah, we've got this, so it's, yeah, it's, that's, it's just, it's, it's better than better than I could have expected, so. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, you know, like um, uh, Sam's, uh, he's, He's just got a knack for getting what you want <laughs> somehow. You know, you, you fire him a few collars and uh, and he sort of gets the gets the feel of what you're after. And um, you know, like I said, I said uh, this year when we had the two or three designs come back, it was like, well, I don't I don't dislike any of them. You know, it's just uh, what we think is gonna gonna work best over us. You know, you can see a, a design immediately and go, yes, that's the one. But you think, hey, is it gonna age a little bit throughout the year? But this, you know, this just Different gravy, that different gravy. So um, yeah, I'm chuffed with that. Probably say Troy Bayless. Um, he's sort of the person that I sort of looked up to when I was coming through racing in Australia. He was racing the world championship, obviously world champion at the time. Um, so yeah, I'd, I would love to have raced against raced against him. Um, uh, at my peak and at his, you know, obviously I'm at the top of my game now and it would be amazing to race against him when he was, when he was world champion, you know, so um, it's, uh, that, that's the person I'd love to race against. Oh, I know who I would, Glenn Irwin, because he's got the most sponsors on it. <laughs> so he must be earning some money. <laughs> Depends how aggro we were, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I have to say me. <laughs> Keep it in there, because my dog would probably eat it. <laughs> yeah!